Linus Tech Tips coverage of PAX 2013 is brought to you by Western Digital, Intel, and SteelSeries. Hey guys, we're here at the Supergiant Games booth to check out their new game, Transistor. If you guys have watched the live stream much, you guys probably know that I'm a huge fan of Bastion as I've recommended it multiple times, uh, especially during the Steam Summer Sale when it was super cheap. So, <laughs> uh, that, no, no problem, no problem. <laughs> Um, so Transistor is not Bastion 2, it is its own game entirely. What else can you tell me about Transistor? So Transistor is the new science fiction themed action RPG from uh, Supergiant Games, the creators of Bastion. Uh, we have the whole team back together again to, to work on this next project with a handful of uh, new people. Um, and it sort of features this uh, you know, rich hand-painted world, it's like a beautiful uh, sort of city, uh, and it has a new protagonist, Red, our main character. Uh, we also have uh, the voice of Logan Cunningham, who was the narrator uh, uh, of character of Rux in Bastion back as, uh, as a different character, as the voice coming from the transistor, uh, interacting with Red throughout her journey. Uh, the game is a little bit more tactical, a little bit more strategic. Uh, you can pause the game at any time and sort of issue a bunch of commands and you know, undo them and figure out what you want to do and then execute them and see how they all turn out. So it's a sort of you know, strategic game, but within a more immediate and real-time feel. That's cool. He mentioned Rux, or the narrator from Bastion, and that's a really big point because they're bringing back stuff like uh, audio. The, 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 the music that they had in the previous game was so good and very, very well known. I, have, I bought the soundtrack and listened to it actively, even though I beat the game a long time ago, and their narrator, people like him so much, they're buying audio packs for Dota 2 so they can listen to him while they play Dota 2. So bringing these elements back, it's a really good idea because it makes such a complete game. And while this isn't Bastion 2, you can definitely see influences. So if you're a fan of Bastion, I'd highly recommend playing it. Is there any, like, what's your favorite part about the game? Uh, my favorite part about the game is probably the music. So, like, Darren, uh, Darren is my longtime friend. I've known him since I was, like, eight years old or something like that. Uh, and he's a composer for the game. He did all the music for Bastion. Uh, and, you know, the first work he did was stunning. It, like, won VGAs and stuff. And it was super cool for me as his friend that that happened. Uh, and then to see him sort of like outdo himself on the subsequent game has been really, really awesome. So uh, definitely a big fan of, of, of the music of the game, among the many things that, that I enjoy about it. Yeah, yeah. Now, I don't want any spoilers, but what can you tell me about the storyline in Transistor? I mean, so I can sort of tell you a little bit of what we're showing here. It's just, you know, uh, you come into the, uh, into, the, into the game, into the experience. Uh, uh, the character Red is there and uh, she's got the transistor uh, and she hears a voice coming from it, uh, basically urging her to get away from uh, this sort of mysterious force that's pursuing her at every turn uh, through the city. And I don't want to give away too much, but, uh, but basically what we have here is the introduction of that, of the, of the sort of forces of antagonism that are, that are trying to uh, lock Red down and, and, uh, and you know, the in introduction of the game, gameplay mechanics, the transistor itself, uh, all its secrets and mysteries and powers that we sort of let you uh, unlock and wield over the course of the game. Cool, cool. And I know Bastion was on quite a few platforms. Yeah. So what platforms are people going to be able to buy Transistor on? So Transistor will launch uh, on the PS4 and PC via Steam and our website. Cool, cool. Uh, do you have a release date for it? Uh, it's early next year. Yeah, we, we don't have a date yet. I wish I knew, <laughs> but uh, we're still working on it. Um, it's got a little bit way, a little bit ways to go. So so yeah, but it'll be there next year, early next year. Yeah, I'm actually happy to hear that because very locked down release dates are often not a good thing. I'd rather it was released when it was ready. Yeah, no, for us that's a big deal. It's very important. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you for co watching our Supergiant Games booth. Thank you for watching Transistor. If you want to see all of our PAX content, be sure to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.